Hello there, welcome to another talk. And today's talk is called The Mass Spiritual Awakening. Uh, and that's that's really what's going on everything else that's going on is to distract us away from that it's an attempt to stop the mass spiritual awakening and how do you do that well by, because they think by messing up DNA that you can stop DNA activations which is spiritual awakening ascension information come from higher levels of consciousness but the awakening can't be stopped you see why can't it be stopped well because this is a movie slash play slash dream which was the, which everything has to come from a source and the source is absolutely nothing with it, which is all of infinity So it means that that source, that one infinite creator, has created all this. And it means that everything that you're experiencing now has already been an infinite number of times. So it's already happened. This is just part of the film, part of the movie. You see? The Amasa Awakening is about, is about, rem about remembering where you came from. You see? So that's why the mass spiritual awakening cannot be stopped. But that's just part of the, 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 the movie. You know, like in a movie, you've got the bad guys, you've got the good guys. And this thing cannot be stopped. And in awakening, you... Uh, well... My, my own spiritual awakening, unexpected, came at the age of 24. It was 2012, I believe it was. Uh, and around that time, the energy apparently changed on the planet. And, you know, it's being called the new earth by people like Dolores Cannon and many others. And that is where people are ascending and they're creating a new reality. So, but it's like two parallel realities, or two realities in one reality. My spiritual awakening was crazy. I mean, I, I, I didn't, I didn't know about this kind of thing. My mum's side are traveling, Romany gypsies on my, on my mum's side, uh, and into psychic readings and palmistry and things of that nature. But none of my family knew what a spiritual awakening was. I was all alone in this. Uh, but this has been happening to people since then and currently. And that's what I believe is trying, they're trying to stop. I, I don't, I'm, I'm not talking about things that are going on right now that a lot of people are talking about because I'm not allowed to talk about them. But also, it's, I've worked, I worked out a while ago that it was just a distraction. The reason I want you talking about that is because they want to identify who are the dangers and the dangers is the, is the third is the one-eyed man the third-eyed man the third eye spies you could say from god that's what the chosen ones are the ones that are going through these awakenings you're chosen because everything is written everyone's chosen to a certain level but you know what i mean you know the awakenings uh you know, I, I say I had enough, but I know that, that it's a movie and that I was meant to face that moment of having enough. So I had to have everything that was bad before that had to lead up to that point. And, uh, and that, that's what happens in Awakening. You realise that it's all nothingness. That was one of the early things that came in the awakening was nothing. Think of nothing. And that's a meditation um, that came about from it as well. And and that's what you realise in awakening. You know, it's, it's a non-dual path. And, you know, it's not... I mean, 
a few years into the awakening, I found out that, it, that a lot of the stuff I was being shown in the awakening was actually in Buddhism. But in this awakening that I had, you know, shown so much stuff, but like I say, this is happening en masse and that's what they're trying to stop. Because once the awakening takes hold, but what the, the, the demons don't realize, and what you might not realize yet, is that even the demons are God. Because there's no separation. Everything has to come from a source of non-existence, and that's the one infinity that is. Nothingness is all of infinity. So it means there's no separation, it means there's no demons. It means that that's your imagination. You see? Consider Earth, you know, you've got like simulated games. Well, imagine Earth is just a very advanced one, but you've even got more advanced ones than that. But it's actually nothingness which is the orchestrator. And nothingness is the beginning and end of everything, but... And that's really what the Kundalini power is within, the sexual energy orgasms that people, the videos on it, I've mentioned this so many times. And what starts to happen is as you're, as you're healing, the, you've got these spiritual energies, these orgasmic energies, but they're blocked, they're, the system has always tried to block them. And that's what they're trying to stop desperately, but they don't realize that it's part of the movie. And... In awakening, you realize that you are all of it. Because if you if you came from nothing, then that means you're all of it. That means there's no one else. I once, a few years ago, I, I used to watch this guy. I don't know if he's a Buddhist, but he talked about, you know, non-duality. And he said that... I'm not good with names, so you have to forgive me for that. Uh, and, and he said, this guy that I was watching a few years ago said that, that he can't... Awaken from the dream, you can only awaken in the dream, and that's true. It's like awake spiritual awakening is like being on a bench, you've been dreaming, and then you wake up and you're here all along. Like in my I'm a mum's registered carer. Uh I'm not gonna go too much into that, but you know, to cut a long story short, when she's in dialysis you know I I spend a lot I, I do I get a lot of downloads when she's away apart from if I'm not doing the house chores because I have to do everything she she can't do and uh, and I get all and I get all these meditations these these downloads um, and the ones that I get that I've been getting lately is showing me that this peace that I have in in this life I'm living just now is something that I want to keep hold of. You see? And, uh, you know, and, and in this peace that I feel in these meditations, I mean, there's no one else, it's just me apart from, I've got cats and a dog. And, uh, and that's absolute bliss, you see? And that's been achieved, but th that bliss that I feel is the total opposite of what I used to be. And that bliss is, is what they're trying to stop. But they're not really trying to stop it because they're only just illusions within within this, this, this dream, this movie, this play. It's all your imagination. Like I met a friend the other day and uh, he's been triple vaccinated. I've said the word, but you know, I'm not gonna say nothing about vaccines or anything like that, right? Uh, and uh, and and even though you know, you know we've got different views, we can still get along. You see, but I was explaining to him that uh, about you know it's it's all to try and stop the awakening, the spiritual thing that's going on. Uh, and and that's why I don't really t I don't talk about it. You know, and I haven't spoke about anything like that for a while because I realised at the start of it I was, and then then I had I had like a, another awakening and download, you know, thinking and letting me know that 
you came you had the awakening talk about awakening ascension healing that's that's the thing let the let the, you know that's just to divide everybody it's part of the illusion the only the you know the only thing that's real i mean everything's in your imagination Because if, if everything comes from nothing, then, then what are you? You can't, I mean, nothingness, you can't even define nothingness. You can't, you can't pin it down because it doesn't exist. And you can't define non-existence. And the more that you, you, you uh, awaken, this is what's happened to me for 10 years. I've been on this journey, 34 now, 24 and I had first had the first awakening. And that's what, uh, what they're trying to stop but they're not really trying to stop it like I say it's just part of the illusion it's part of the movie it's part of the play part of the dream you see it's just you appearing as as something else you see so that's what a Jesus Christ would mean or Jesus Christ would mean when he said the kingdom of God is within you. Because in awakening, that's what you're doing. I, I mean, I've, I've seen Eckhart Tolle talk about, the other day he was talking about, uh, you know, how he doesn't believe in, in holding your breath. I do breathing exercises, but I can see his point where he was saying that, that you don't have to do that because if you're, working with the present moment you, your breathing naturally gets deeper you see and that's basically what happened in the awakening it, you know I was I was the type of person that couldn't sit down in the illusion that you know in the illusion I was like that uh, but that was just a, another character in, in the dream movie You see? It's all just ideas and made up, like Steve Jobs once said, everything is made up by people who are no more smarter than you. You just make it up. But they're not but the other thing is they're not really making it up because like I say, it's all part of the dream. It's all it's, it's all you. It's all nothing. You're you're nothing. And, uh, and that's what's happened on the planet. But I'm just going to leave it there for latest updates, talks, news, research, and much, much more. Please do check my website at www.lovelightfamily.com.